Consistently, a wide assortment of things happen, some of which can be clarified thoughtfully and others that are outside human ability to grasp. Some of them dig into the starting points, brain science and development of people in more profound profundity. A portion of these can help us in settling issues. The rest of the proof, particularly the logical discoveries, just adds to the uncertainty. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll examine three interesting discoveries. Deep in the Pentagon, a secret AI program to find hidden nuclear missiles. The US military is expanding spending on a mysterious exploration exertion to utilize man-made reasoning to assist with expecting the dispatch of an atomic competent rocket, just as track and target versatile launches in North Korea and elsewhere. The exertion has gone to a great extent unreported, and a couple of openly accessible insights regarding it are covered under a layer of close to impervious language in the most recent Pentagon financial plan. Yet, US authorities acquainted with the exploration told Reuters there are different arranged projects currently under approach to investigate how to foster AI-driven frameworks to more readily secure the United States against a potential atomic rocket strike. On the off chance that the exploration is effective, such PC frameworks would have the option to have an independent mind, scouring colossal measures of information, including satellite symbolism, with a speed and precision past the ability of people to search for indications of arrangements for a rocket dispatch, as per the greater part 12 sources. The sources included US authorities, who talked about the state of namelessness on the grounds that the exploration is grouped. Cautioned, the US government would have the option to seek conciliatory alternatives or, on account of an impending assault, the military would have more opportunity to attempt to annihilate the rockets before they were dispatched or attempt to capture them. We ought to do our best to find that rocket before they dispatch it and make it progressively harder to get it off the ground, one of the authorities said. The Trump Organization had proposed dramatically multiplying subsidizing in the following year's financial plan to $83 million for only one of the AI-driven rocket programs, as indicated by a few US authorities and spending reports. The lift in financing has not been recently announced. While the sum is still moderately little, it is one marker of the developing significance of the examination on AI-fueled enemies of rocket frameworks when the United States faces an all the more military self-assured Russia and a huge atomic weapons danger from long-lasting adversary, North Korea. What AI and AI permit you to do is discover the needle in the sheaf, said Bob Work, a boss of AI innovation who was Agent Guard Secretary until last July, without alluding to any individual undertakings. One individual acquainted with the project said it incorporates a pilot projected zeroed in on North Korea. Washington is progressively worried about Pyongyang's improvement of portable rockets that can be stowed away in passages, timberlands and caverns. The presence of a North Korea-centered venture has not been recently announced. While that venture has been left well enough alone, the military has been clear about its advantage in AI. The Pentagon, for instance, has revealed it is utilizing AI to recognize objects from video assembled in its robot program, as a component of a freely promoted exertion dispatched last year called Task Maven. In any case, some US authorities say AI spending, generally speaking on military projects, remains horribly lacking. A new chip could put AI in the palm of your hand. The objective of a man-made consciousness framework that works like the human cerebrum drew a stage nearer as of late. Analysts at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology declared another particular reason chip that speeds up neural network calculations by three to multiple times over current chips, while lessening power utilization by up to 95%. It does it by working in a simple style more in accordance with how the mind functions, instead of managing the endless series of ones and zeros in conventional processing. The consequence? AI neural organizations could not just lift enormous scope supercomputing, yet additionally be useful in cell phones, 
robots, automated vehicles, and clinical gadgets, where they could perform complex activities going from cutting-edge confirmation to receptive dynamics that would some way or another include interfacing with power-hoarding workers through the cloud. Working in the genuinely new, however expanding field of neuromorphic registering, the MIT group planned a chip with counterfeit neurotransmitters that can vacillate with the progression of data, the manner in which neural connections in the mind work. This extraordinarily lessens the measure of the force required and holds potential for ultimately pressing massive computational ability into minuscule gadgets. At last, we need a chip as large as a fingernail to supplant one major supercomputer. Jiwan Kim, who drove the examination group revealed to MIT News. This opens a venturing stone to deliver genuine fake equipment. The allure of neuromorphic registering and neural organizations lies in the productivity of the human cerebrum. It cannot figure pi like an advanced processor, yet it can deal with data streams from different sources, making contemplations, deciphering sights, sounds and scents, controlling in essence activities, and is liquid in applying assets to issues as the need emerges. What's more, it does everything with almost no force. In 2013, an examination group hoping to mimic one second of organic mind movement ran 82,994 processors and a petabyte of framework memory for 40 minutes on the Ricken Research Institute's K supercomputer, utilizing sufficient power for 10,000 homes. The mind paradoxically runs on around 20 watts, a large portion of the power of a fridge light. The MIT group is not the only one in its quest for neural organizations. IBM, working with the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, has fostered the True North neuromorphic chip design, which can run on 70 milliwatts and is equipped for 46 billion synaptic activities each second per watt. IBM created True North under DARPA's Systems of Neuromorphic Adaptive Plastic Scalable Electronics program and is utilizing it to fabricate a 64-chip supercomputer for the Air Force Research Laboratory. ARL plans to utilize it for cutting-edge example and article acknowledgement, and the tactile preparation of sound, video, and other sensor-created information into something a PC can utilize. The Intelligence Advanced Research Project's activity is investigating another front, putting $100 million into its Machine Intelligence from Cortical Networks, or MICRONS, program to examine the working of the cerebrum to further develop AI and AI calculations. China, additionally, is looking into the issue, with Tsinghua University in Beijing fostering a low-power neuromorphic chip called Thinker, which can run for a year on eight AA batteries. China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology spread out a three-year plan in December that incorporates large-scale manufacturing of neural network chips by 2020. Artificial intelligence can spot holes in the sun's corona. Researchers from the University of Graz, Austria, Skoltech and their associates from the US and Germany have fostered another neural organization that can dependently identify coronal openings from space-based perceptions. This application prepares for more solid space climate forecasts and gives important data to the investigation of the sun-oriented movement cycle. The paper was distributed in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics. Similar to how our life on Earth relies upon the light of the sun, our electronic life relies upon the movement of our nearest star and its connections with Earth's magnetic field. For the natural eye, the sun shows up practically steady. However, the sun is exceptionally dynamic, every now and again showing emissions and causing geomagnetic storms on Earth. Hence, the external sun-powered air, the sun-oriented crown, is continually being observed by satellite-based telescopes. In these perceptions, one of the noticeable highlights is expanded, dim districts called coronal openings. They seem dim in light of the fact that plasma particles can escape from the sun's surface into the interplanetary space along the magnetic field, leaving openings in the crown. The appearance and area of these openings in the sun change because of sun-powered movement and give significant data about the drawn-out advancement of the sun. The identification of coronal openings is a troublesome assignment 
for traditional calculations and is additionally trying for human spectators on the grounds that there are likewise other dull districts in the sun-oriented air similar to fibers that can be effectively mistaken for coronal openings, says Robert Yarolim, an exploration researcher at the University of Graz and the lead creator of the examination. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.